All right, here we are, round number two, back nine at Southern Dunes. The graphic has changed. It was getting really busy on this graphic. It was hard for me to keep track of. So all we're gonna do from now on is keep the score that they got for that hole, the gross total and the net total. We're playing a net total tournament, but I also wanna show you the gross total of where we're at to par for all the rounds. So this, these, on this graphic, you see the plus 21 for Brian Copeland. That's through one and a half rounds. So there's that. The graphic is getting ready to pop up here. You're going to see Copeland still is getting, he's going to get six more strokes on the back nine here at Southern Dunes. So his graphic is going to change from a plus four to a negative two. That's how we're going to do it. The rest of the tournament for me to be able to keep the graphic straight and the number straight. And so like, I think the next round, I'm getting five again. So whatever I am at at the end of this round, we'll go ahead and deduct five strokes from my total and we'll see how it plays out from there. And so on and so on with Brian Copeland. You know, if I remember right, he might be only getting 10 strokes next, next round because he played good this round. And we'll go ahead and deduct 10 strokes from where he's sitting. So see how it shakes out. I uh, hope this is keeping people's interest playing a little tournament style with my brothers from the fire service across the country. So hope you're enjoying Southern Dunes. Here we are, hole number 10, back nine. Dan call it good because of slow play? No, he just had to leave. He was on the way nine. So, yeah. Okay. So now I have an excuse because he was our local informant telling us we're not to hit it. And we just so, hit it there anyway, but... Yeah. yeah. We, didn't, <laughs> not, we didn't listen. <laughs> now we don't have anybody I mean, we're firemen. Them. We don't listen, right? No. So. Unless it's a direct order? Right. Yeah? Yeah. But All right, boys. We, it's still questionable. Direct order, play well on the back nine. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. Yes. All right, here we are, part two at Southern Dunes. Put the leaderboard up there for you after the nine holes. And we will also update after both rounds. After this round, we'll combine round one with round two and let you know where everyone stands. So hope you enjoy this format and keeps you watching. We got two more days of golf after this. So four rounds, four rounds and we'll, uh, just having a good time out here with my brothers from the fire service. We had a cop that was coming, uh, hurt his shoulder, but we also, we do have a federal officer playing tomorrow. So he's not in the tournament cause he can only play two days, but he's already down here visiting friends. So he joined us. So that's what it's all about is get on the golf course and clear your mind. He shot yesterday, one of his best rounds in a while cause he's been going through some stress. So that's what this channel's about. So, and the foundation using the game of golf to help overcome stress. Just being out here with your friends, brothers from the fire service, police force, other first responders. Let's go, let's play golf, contact me. Foundation will pay for it. That's what it's all about. Love you all, stay self-aware. Got it. Finally hit one down the middle. Yep. Hope I find it. Alright. Got a hundred and hundred and ten yards. Downwind. Pins in the back. fan but I, I think I might be on the green yeah. all right I'm filming the good bag and the ugly on this hole 
So it is the good, the bad, and the ugly. And that one didn't have any sand in it. I didn't. He had one that was like that. It was like, he said it was just dirt. It felt like it, and then it didn't. <laughs> it's a hill, dude. Watch out, camera! <laughs> you gotta get through there. Yep, you're right. You feel like you gotta get through it. Yes, you feel like you gotta get through it. Jeez, this, it. I gotta make this on triple. Good putt. You got a bogey out of that one? Yeah. From 60 yards away. <laughs> the old side layer. Oh, I, it was a nice old beaver tail. Oh, oh you gotta God. be kidding me. That might be a tournament winner right there to set one stroke all right i avoided the disastrous triple bogey that's our max in this tournament for pace of play while filming and just to uh had rich had a six charles had a five and just to keep uh you know people interested some people could get a nine or ten and then they're out of tournament so that's just our rules we're gonna have fun with it All right, Rich, we got to overcome those double bogeys there. Oh, I didn't get a double. You got a triple? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should have seen your face. Well, I got a double. <laughs> I know that. You should have seen your face yeah, right I'd... there. You went, what? Uh, what? What? <laughs> All right, boys, we're into the win on this one. So what's our yardage? 145. Ah. It's too quick. Dang it, bunker. Okay. What club you go with? Sit solid, see if the wind hits it or not. Yep. Found the trench. God, there's, no sand. there's just no sand to throw it out. You're all right, Chief Nye for birdie. Hit it. Good putt. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny crap right there. Dude. <laughs> Good putt. Hell of an up down from over there. Hit it solid? Yeah. I hit it solid. This That'll be a fun hole. I tried.
tried to slow it down that time and all right here's where my crappy t-ball is and you see that lip i don't have much i don't even know if i i'll probably just gonna lay up and fight from there richie hit a good one in the middle of fairway his back's starting to tighten up so he's trying to bump things up there and all right left side fringe so he's got to look at it up and down all right i got about 54 yards to this pin it's in that shadow there i have a 58 Oh, I just stuck. Should have hit like a 54 and ran it up there better. Cause I got a double birdie, double. <laughs> I got triple. Ah, over there in the desert, yeah. hanging out with the rattlers. Yeah, I decided to hit it in a no man's land. I've done it numerous times. It all starts on this next two, cause it's a par five and a drivable par four. Good up and down. Uh, Parski on this tough hole. Everything took everything you had. I just hope I can finish. I I can tell your back's. <laughs> it's hurting, dude. This cold weather's not helping. I'm trying, I'm trying to drink uh, some uh, relaxing juice. <laughs> <laughs> trying to relax it, but look, I, I got still got to swing the club. Yeah. You know, so I'm trying to find that medium right there. Good ball right in the middle. With his back hurting, tightening up. All right, Charles, this is a good one. A yeah, it'll, it'll be in the guns just barely, I think. I'm over there with you, Charles. No, that's gonna be nice. A little low runner. Yeah, Good miss. Low runner, dude. All right. So my tee ball was in a bush. Had to take an unplayable. Then I skinnied a iron up here. So this is for my par. And I don't know whether to putt this or use this little pitching wedge and bump it. Got a lot of this little rough to go through within the fringe. So I think I'm gonna bump with this wedge. Oh, I grabbed. Hey. Now I got that putt for bogey, man. Tell of two nines here so far for me. Hey, Ryan got a birdie, so we got to cover him, Rich. It's a desert birdie. The yeah, I, this is the first piece of grass I found in this hole all the time. <laughs> the all world desert birdie. Hit the oh man! Look how, that's fast. That is uphill. I can see it, but it's still lightning fast. I don't get it. I don't want 
far. Hold it. That's for my six. So. Well, that's the break I saw in all of it. And not when you blast it through the break. Damn it! I'm shooting my way out of the tournament now. <sighs> you know, there have been some really. Hole 14. Someone decided to pee right there. Off an ice level. All right, this is probably one of the smartest of clubs off the tee, but where this bunker's at. But I might try to play it to the fat part of that green. Just try to hoist it up here. Short. Oh yeah, it made it. Oh, Nelly, got myself a birdie look at least. Yeah, it's like dirt sand. It's like hitting out dirt. Yeah, it's like a thin layer of sand, so anytime you try to like blast it out, all I do is just bounce up. Come on, baby. How that not keep coming from the get go, you know? Oh, <laughs> you missed it for me. <laughs> if you clear that one, you're fine. Yep. <laughs> Good ball. Finally. That might be through the fairway. You hit it 310. Is that you handling heavy equipment? Yep. <laughs> you got a license for that? Just left of that big pop bunker. All right, good ball. <laughs> All right, I got 127 up this hill slightly, and it's slightly in the wind to the right, so I got a pitching wedge. Hand! Get in there, I need some bunker work. Short right. See if Charles does. All right, tell two nines for me, man. <laughs> had it going, had the feel, now I've lost it. That's golf, love it. Trickle on for me, give me a chance at the par, all right. 
Better than nothing. So we'll be chasing daylight. 6.15 is the sunset. It's not the true darkness. So we might be able to get done about 6.30 hopefully and uh, get all 18 holes in. If not, we'll just give everyone a par on the 18th hole and it is what it is. We're no handicaps from that. I did too when it came out the face. And even with that pace, it wanted to dive on you. you yeah, know what it's, I'm it's I, still. I thought, thought you were going to make put that right in the hole. With the pace, you had a good pace on it, and I can't believe it still dived left on you. Yeah, There's a little leprosy. Yeah, you had a good putt there. Leprosy. It gives you two points for that. <laughs> Be in the bunker with you, Rich. <laughs> we all left. Yeah. All right, here I am in the bunker, or the dirt. Got an eight iron. Out, pretty good. I got about a 115 to this pin. Charles had a good one in the back there. Shot. Charles for birdie. Get in there. Give him. God, oh, God, dang it. it. That a jaw. What? what? <laughs> it went more than that. I just didn't see it. Poldy? Yes. Here's what we got on this part three. balls you see here I'm short seven iron didn't carry enough with the wind and the colder air now Richie had a good one in there so let's see what happens all righty Jaws. His back has got him. I saw you play off the rocks over there on one hole. I've been, I've got to see all the desert. We got to finish as a six of them because as you can see, the sun's getting ready to get behind the mountains. My score card is lit up and blue. <laughs> you getting stiff? Huh? No, oh. I just hit the ball terrible. Yeah.
Get out. No, 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 no. I didn't hit it solid, solid. So. Good ball. Good ball. Thanks. Ooh. About one ten over this water. Let's see what my back swings. Oh shit. I think it's over and it might have went long. You go next, Rich. Good to me. <laughs> One time. Oh! Dang. Here we got Brian's putt for bogey Fuck you. and excuse me for his cussing but anyway there's the score for the last hole and our score for the round copeland 83 rich nye 79 80 81 95 82 you can see that pause it if you want to watch that but there's the gross totals for two rounds and there's the net total for two rounds heading into round three those net totals will be adjusted at the start of that round with the new handicaps that you know each night we at dinner we negotiated or during the drive home we were texting in the group saying hey you know you're not getting that many strokes this time and so it was good fun banter at night uh at, around the dinner table dinner table and back at the airbnb so anyway i hope you've enjoyed round two and this format through two rounds four videos so i love you all for watching please stay self-aware of the stresses in your life uh, no matter if you're a first responder or not, but enjoy the game of golf. Use it to help you decompress. Love y'all. Take care.